got them tickets for the citadel and it's 40,000 per person. Hi guys, we are Shishira and Namneet. Welcome to another vlog. Today we are in Bukhara and right now we are inside the citadel. So Bukhara is supposed to be the holiest city here in Central Asia. Uh, it is probably because one, it has great religious importance here, a lot of very important mosques and madrasas. The second is it also has a very vibrant cultural scene. Uh, people from all across uh, Asia, not just Central Asia, used to come here during the Silk Road era. And um, with, with these people coming, it was like travelers coming, students coming, skilled professionals, traders and everyone would meet along the way. And just like in Samarkand, Bukhara became a very important religious place where later people began to come on pilgrimages as well. So right now we are here inside the citadel, which is actually a small fortress area overlooking the city, the modern city of Bukhara. But inside the citadel, there's a lot of ancient history, there's a lot of medieval history that we'll now get to see and explore. So come along with us and let's explore Bukhara together. So this first place is actually the Friday Mosque. The interesting part about this mosque is that it has wooden pillars and it has a wooden roof. And look how intricate the roof design is. And it's so colourful too. So apparently this mosque was restored with the help of the US Embassy here in Uzbekistan. And as you can see, this is a very beautiful blue Majolika style again, which is similar to what we saw in Samarkand. And you can see a lot of writing in Arabic, Persian, So this here is actually a portion of the Quran. It's part of the Kufi order. Kufis uh, originated here in this part of Uzbekistan. So we are right now at the throne of the ruler. All the rulers, when they were coronated, they would come here and this was the place where the coronation would happen. Earlier the throne was actually made in marble. I think now they might have moved it to the museum. Now it's just replaced with a cement uh, slab. Another interesting thing is that the roof here is made of wood and it's intricately designed. So last time when Namneet came on his solo trip to Uzbekistan, he had shared a photo with me where he was all dressed up in, you know, Uzbeki attire, the royal attire. I thought it was just a gimmicky photo, but now I know he took it at this spot and it is actually right beside the throne of the ruler. <laughs> <laughs> we are walking inside the citadel. Somebody is talking to Navneet <laughs> and they want to click a picture with us. So these kind ladies are from from uh, Samarkand, Bukhara? Namanga. Namanga, na. Ah, Namanga. Gulabo, Gulabo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> festival. Festival, yes. <laughs> so these kind uh, grandmas are all from Namangan, which is near Antijon, near Fargana Valley. So they wanted to take pictures with us. <laughs> So now we are inside the History Museum of Bukhara. So as you can see, all the kings here were really large in size. That's why the dress is so like wide. In comparison, here is a normal human being in modern day dresses. And the shoes are huge. I was looking for Nami and I spotted him in front of an air conditioning. Nami, come, let's go. Inside the museum, they also seem to have like a whole section for coins. So you find old Bukhara coins, the coins that were used in the Emirate here, and also some notes. So it was a full-fledged economy back in the day as well. So this Ark of Bukhara is actually a massive citadel come fortress. This actually dates back to not the 16th century or something that late. It goes back to the 5th century. So it's actually very, very old. And this was ruled not by one king, like multiple rulers had actually ruled this place. No. <laughs> yeah. It's always funny because the locals are curious to see us. So they keep smiling. Wide with their golden teeth. Yeah. 
they all have gold in their teeth so i guess it's still a tradition here to do that so yeah. we'll go to the next stop so now we'll go to the next place it's like really hot here so it's uh, quite difficult to vlog you are unable to open our eyes also it's like very bright we should have got our sunglasses yeah so the typical transport options here in bukhara back in the day were horses or camels so the royalty used to use the horses here and where we are standing right now this it's is actually stable. yeah this is actually the stable and as you can see this entire ground behind us with that little cart over there that was actually the stable itself so about 20 horses or so would be here some of which were used by the king some of which were used for racing and some of them were used for carrying luggages Yeah, so it and was I think like this middle part, which is here, is actually the place where they used to put food for the horses. This one here on the ground. Ooh, oh, it's so hot. Salam. Salam. Ramad. <laughs> This is how I have to take <laughs> their pictures. Now the camera man. Three, two, one. So that was the citadel, and right opposite of the citadel, you will find this mosque. A very pretty mosque. Can you see the minaret? It's very hot, so we had just put two of these apples which we got for breakfast in our bag, so that we could eat it at times like these. Can you believe Navneet is having an apple out of his own choice instead of kurkure or Lay's packets? Wow. Just stopped for some rest and tea. Nice tea. Got this big bottle of lemon iced tea for nine thousand. Right now there are clouds overhead, but it doesn't rain around here often. It's a desert, right? So wonder where the clouds go and precipitate. Bangalore. Bangalore. <laughs> yes. Bukara together. Ta 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 na 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 na. That means music has to play. What is your name? What name? Eh? What is your name? Ah, Shishira. Shish Shishina. Shishira. Shishira. Perfect. Shishira. 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 Yes. Is it on? Hello. 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 Testing. Testing. One. Three, two, one. Okay, so we. I need to take a leafy. Take a leafy. 